Hello and welcome to another episode of Iskut Reviews. As I promised you a couple of weeks ago, I'm bringing you more and more videos about Navi electric scooters. Two weeks ago, I did a video review of Navi S65C. Now today we have here Navi V50. Except for Navi V50, we are gonna cover in our last video also V40 Pro, but since physically they are basically the same except for some technical dif differences i'm not going to be doing two separate videos regarding those scooters because v50 has a range of 50 kilometers v40 pro has a range of 40 kilometers and like i'm going to focus more on the specifications in my final last video but before that we need to bring you videos of in-depth reviews opening scooters check them inside you know the battery the, the battery compartment inside, controllers and things like that. So, okay, let's head to the scooter. Uh, if I would have a situation to, let's say, think about buying Xiaomi Pro 2 today, I would choose this over Xiaomi Pro 2 because technically they have similar specs when it comes to a range on a paper, 50 kilometers per hour, per one charge, so that means in real life I'm expecting 25, everything over 25 is absolutely brilliant. And Xiaomi Pro with my weight would usually get something like that. But there is another brilliant thing regarding this scooter, okay? So when you buy this scooter, okay, when you get it out of the box, you don't have any screw. That scooter is assembled, okay, ready to use. You don't need to loosen any screws or whatever. But okay, let me share with you one story. Five years ago, 2018, Murray's in Dublin city center. Around noon, I decided to go there for a coffee with my Xiaomi scooter. And I was like, okay, I need to put it somewhere so that it's not in a way. So I fold my scooter down and put it there, you know, get my coffee, sitting there, enjoying my coffee. And the lady that works there, uh, she was passing by and she hit my handlebar and tripped over. And like, I still remember her face today. I felt so bad. Like I was doing my best to try and put my scooter aside uh, so that nobody doesn't trip over it. And exactly that's what happened. Because like, you know, 2018, we didn't have too many scooters in here in, in Ireland, well, overall, they were just starting. So like, you know, people weren't used to it. And like, if someone's not looking, trips over it, he can get injured. As I said, luckily there was no injuries. If I had this, I would do this. And this is an absolutely brilliant thing. Like, you know, Navi, fair play. You did a brilliant job and like, I would like to see all at least budget scooters who are, you know, who do, don't have too much uh, pressure on the stem because of uh, high torques. I would like all of them to implement this system. It's, it's a life changer in a way that like, you know, how many times, you know, you fold the scooter to put it away and then like it sticks like, you know, like this instead of like this. This is absolutely brilliant. But like, you know, this is how you get the scooter in a box. So when you take it out of the, the box, you only need to do this and check your tire pressure and maybe check your brake. And that's it. Nothing, absolutely nothing else. But like, you know, look, this is still rock solid. Like there's no play anywhere. So like, you know, Navi, it's just like, I don't know, they just gain my trust because they are built I would say like Nimbut Max G30, if not even better. Design uh, reminds of some of the Nimbut models. Uh, so, okay, uh, brilliant folding, adjustable headlight, okay, with a sensor. So you can say when you connect it to your app, you can set it up so that headlights turn turns on automatically and taillight can of course be turned on all the time then another thing okay battery compartment is plastic but you have those two bars there that are protecting in case you hit the curb or something so that you don't set your battery on fire 
10 inch pneumatic tires with inner tubes so that means you need to check your tire pressure regularly and if I remember correctly it actually has a tire pressure indicator that you can set in an app same as on S65C to remind you to double check your tire pressure. Um, overall I honestly don't see almost anything bad about scooter it has a rear disc brake and the disc is uh, based on the left hand side so that means we could technically probably upgrade it to semi-hydraulic X-Tech and I will try to do that and make a video about it and the uh, charging port absolutely great location like you know first of all water is not going to get that easily here but if you know even if you forgot to close this like when you stand you know you're just going to notice like it's a, it's a different color it's not the same co co color uh, the the charging port cover is lighter so like it's going to be like hey close me come on close me so uh, yeah that's uh, absolutely brilliant now you know i was trying to find something bad about scooter and i did find a couple of things but um, like for example these cables okay um, i would never notice that but like i had a couple of situations where scooters would come with those cables broken okay especially the motor wire that's on this other side so uh what i would do i would maybe put a cable hole here on the back back side and then here i would put it on the inner side so that cable stays as much as possible with the, with the line of the scooter so it doesn't stick out on the other side where the motor is actually cable here you know comes out really close to the to to the stem uh really close to the fork but it's getting inside again here so inside or maybe on the bottom but on this other side and that's basically it and okay well there is one more thing that is annoying me a little bit more okay it's not a deal breaker but it is annoying me a little bit more. So we have a brilliant folding uh, system. You know, you can put it behind your bed or next to your window or something. It's gonna not, it's not gonna take any space, and that's absolutely brilliant. You can even fit it in your car boot, and it's not gonna take too much space. But I'm gonna put actually a picture here. So this hook here is a little bit too long. So you know, attaching it in, okay, you need to push it. When you're trying to get it out okay i actually got lucky this time but sometimes it can get stuck and it's a little bit difficult di difficult to take it out except for that i really can't find any problem with this scooter so you know looking at the price tag similar to xiaomi pro 2 around 600 euros between xiaomi pro 2 and this definitely this xiaomi pro 2 comes with eight and a half inch tires these are 10 inch tires as i said with the inner tube they're not tubeless like on s65c there is no suspension like on s65c but this is still a budget scooter and okay i know that we probably all were into electric scooters for a longer time remember oh xiaomi used to be three four hundred quid yes that was five years ago okay today for 300 quid you can get our trust me you don't want our okay because like that's probably the worst scooter i ever seen in my life okay so um, now on this scooter you can see a phone holder and you can see here a lock that doesn't come standard with the scooter okay but i'm going to show you something oh actually that i grabbed a spare phone because mine has a otter box pretty pretty chunky thick uh, thick cover so i got those accessories extra and i and, and the helmet as well. I'm going to show you helmet in the, in the final video. And again, I was just, I, I looked at the, at the phone holder and I was like, oh, you know, another, another cheap uh, plastic phone holder. Anyone who's buying on AliExpress knows what I mean with another cheap Chinese crap. And I had a phone holder like this that stopped working pretty, pretty quickly, you know. So I'm actually going to lean down because I was making already this video and it cut my head off. Check this out. Like, hello, hello. It's just brilliant. Like, and the, the base is actually metal. It's not plastic, it's a metal base. 
and this is combination of plastic and metal but like it works so nice and like I was you know trying it really really hard to see is it gonna stop working no still working brilliant then another thing okay as I said I got uh, I got locks and like I was like oh, just like you know it's just a cheap combo lock you know it's like well of course it's not gonna be so great as a like a kryptonite lock uh, but then the other day I was actually organizing to take those scooters out to give guys from the community group to, to give them a try a bit and get their opinion. That's going to be in our last Navi video, their opinions as well. Uh, so it's like, you know, I'm just going to put it on. And I took it out of the box. I'm like, wow, like this is a really nice finish. This is a really nice finish. And then, I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, but... Okay, actual clicks on, uh, on the combo numbers. And why I, was, well, why I wasn't actually expecting anything special regarding this is because, like, I'm working in a retail for quite a while, and lots of times I would get be in a situation where I needed to give a gift to a customer and I was like, I actually don't want to give it to you because this is such a bad quality. You know, they just got, you know, I don't know, the cheapest possible lighters or, or, or pens or whatever and just put the logo on it. I'm like, because with this, you're going to lose the confidence in an actual product. So like my personal opinion is like, you know, if you can give someone a, proper, you know, good quality gift, just don't give them anything at all. You know, smile and thank you is better than something that's really bad. But this is really, really not bad. This is really well made. Helmets are absolutely nice. I'm going to show it to you guys. So, uh, yeah, it's just like everything seems, seems really, really brilliant. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I think this is going to be all for, for, for this episode, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, you know, like. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. But just please use English. I don't speak every single language in the world. So if you write in some other languages, I won't be able maybe to, to reply to your comment. And overall channel is on English. So let's stick to that. Uh, if you think it's going to be useful to someone, share it up and if you want you can support me through buy me a coffee link should be qr code should be here and it's going to be in a descri video description or you can buy some of the products uh, from amazon through my amazon uh, uh, affiliate links if you do that you're going to support the channel as well i'm going to get a little bit of a commission but it's not going to cost you anything extra at all and all those links all those things in a uh, video description are things that i tried myself i'm using myself and if it happens that something shows to be a bad product i remove them immediately i had i had a couple of things like that that i was using and they ended up not being good i removed them from the video description uh, straight away so yeah that's all guys uh, I'm bringing you next week probably S65C where we're gonna be opening it and check the, the, the battery and, uh, and the controller in there and then we're gonna tear this this boy apart and then we're gonna bring a final conclusion video overall about Navi brand so far i'm honestly really 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 impressed if you want to get the hands on one of those there's going to be uh, instructions in a video description down below if you're in ireland and want to get hands on navi scooters yourself there's my personal whatsapp uh, chat link in the description so just send me a whatsapp and i'll instruct you how to get your hands on one of those so till next time guys well you know already please stay safe out there and respect other road users bye bye